My father used to hit me and shout at me when I was younger. He didn't think he was doing anything wrong. That was just the way kids were raised around here. It didn't make me behave any better. It only made me feel insecure and sad and angry. I was only eight when the soldiers came. I ran away as fast as I could. I did not know where my family was. A woman helped me and took me to a center for children without families. At 12, I had to quit school and start working in the fields. I had to work long hours. There were snakes in the fields and had no boots to wear. By the time I was 16, my family decided I should get married. I didn't want to get married so young, but I thought I had no choice. Save the Children came to my community to talk to parents about the harmful effects of corporal punishment and to promote non-violent ways of raising children. They insisted children's voices should be heard and they work alongside the local government and other organisations towards the ban of corporal punishment. A few weeks after my arrival, child protection officers came to register children who had been separated from their families during the war. They found my grandmother so I could go and live with her. Child protection officers talked to the owner of the plantation and convinced him to provide children with boots and appropriate tools. Also, my parents accessed a cash transfer program run by the local community and I was able to catch up with my education. I told my parents I didn't want to get married and that I wanted to continue my education. I also joined the children's club where we discussed gender roles and learned that we are all equal and have the right to make our own decisions. Children protected from violence are more likely to do well in school, grow up healthy and become successful members of society. Children protected from violence are less likely to become perpetrators of violence when they grow up. Break the cycle. End all violence against children now. <laughs> <laughs>